Welcome back to another Med Show episode. Dr. James here, and in this video, I'll be making the case that one of America's greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln, suffered from a rare medical syndrome that affects one out of every 5,000 people, and that this disease was the underlying reason for his very tall stature, as being tall is one of the many characteristics of the syndrome. Using the very limited information we have of the 16th US president, in this video, I'll be highlighting the clues that point us to this disease. We found another clue that led us here. Yeah, but, and that'll lead you to another clue. And that's all you'll ever find is another clue. Don't you get it, Ben? So make sure you stay till the very end for the reveal of the diagnosis. But of course, before the final verdict is released, if at any point in time you think you know the name of this mysterious syndrome, feel free to pause the video and write it in the comment section below. And hey, while you're at it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep updated with the latest medical info. Let's begin. So, right off the bat, both written accounts describing Lincoln's unique physical appearance and pictures portray Lincoln as exceptionally tall and slender. In fact, standing at 6'4", Lincoln is, to this day, the tallest president ever. But height wasn't Lincoln's only distinguishing physical trait. A journalist once described the president's other intriguing physical attributes, such as having long pendulous arms and hands of extraordinary dimensions that far exceed in proportion by his feet. That I had small hands, they're not small, are they? You see, it's not only just about height, but having an abnormally increased arm span to height ratio is noted in many of the people with this disease. And to top it off, some medical records describe Lincoln to having a sunken chest which is commonly seen in individuals with the condition I'm thinking of. And if you're still not convinced by looking at old pictures of the president, we also notice trademark facial features, such as having a long face and deep set eyes, all of which align very much so to this mysterious syndrome. Now, it's very important to know that the condition I'm thinking of does happen to be genetically inherited, AKA there is a certain DNA change that gets transferred from generation to generation. Obviously, not all medical syndromes are genetically passed on, and even if a certain condition is passed via DNA, it doesn't necessarily mean that every generation will express that problem. But that, my friends, is a topic for another video. But if we see multiple family members also suffering from the same signs and symptoms of a potentially genetically inherited disease, that, my friends, is definitely a red flag that something could be brewing up with the family DNA. In Lincoln's case, his mother was also known to be very tall and lanky. And interestingly enough, in the 1960s, a doctor reported treating a descendant of good old Abe Lincoln with this same disease that I'm thinking of. But to be clear, or I guess being the devil's advocate, none of Lincoln's children per se were described to have these physical characteristics I just talked about. Now, this syndrome also presents with other symptoms, such as heart problems. However, we don't have any information about this for Lincoln specifically, as it's a little too late to put like a stethoscope into his chest and listen to any heart murmurs, or do a heart ultrasound, or put any EKGs on him. So we're kind of at a loss there. <sighs> Okay, my friends, I just feel like I need to reveal the name of the diagnosis to put it into a little bit more context. The suspense is killing me. And the name of the medical diagnosis for Abraham Lincoln that I was thinking of is called Marfan's syndrome. This is a genetic condition which there is a change in the DNA, specifically the FBN1 gene, that codes for a protein called fibrillin. And it's this protein, fibrillin, that plays a crucial role in maintaining the strength and elasticity of the connective tissues throughout the body, such as bones, ligaments, muscles, blood vessels, and heart valves. So, because the structural integrity of the connective tissues gets a little flimsy, it results in an increased elasticity and weakness of the tissues that contain a lot of this type of protein. That's why we get the unique cluster of physical characteristics, such as an exceptionally tall height, long limbs, an elongated face, and even heart problems. Now, the most definitive way to know for sure if Lincoln did indeed have Marfan syndrome would be to just sample his DNA and look for that specific mutation. 
But that would be way too easy and straightforward. <laughs> you see, at least up till now, historians have not yet authorized the release of the president's DNA to the public, so we cannot confirm or deny anything, leaving it all just up to theory. I guess they just love to keep us hanging in suspense. <laughs> Anyways, with or without Marfan's disease, we still love good ol' Honest Abe and appreciate him for being a strong leader during one of the darkest chapters of America's history. And if you like learning about medical diseases presidents have, click on the suggestion at the end of this video to find out the hormonal disease that President JFK had that made his skin look extra tan all the time. Yep, <laughs> you heard that correctly. And that's all, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any other presidential requests, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, until next time. <laughs>